Nope, 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 nope. Ah. Oh yeah. Welcome to my channel. I don't really know what's happening here, but just roll with it. So you guys know I love eating weird, interesting types of food. Today I'm gonna be trying all of Ikea's winter holiday snacks. I went to Ikea recently because I am redoing my office. I just did my closet. If you guys wanna see that, I'll link to it here. But of course I go to Ikea to find pretty much anything that I need at an affordable price. This is not sponsored. While I was there, I saw the grocery section at Ikea and it was a land that had fairies and mystery snacks. So let's start here with the, it's very confusing because this says it's the kaffir for it, the kaffir, kaffir. I think that's actually a Swedish term to describe a memorable moment with laughter at cookies. So I think we're experiencing together a kaffir and we're experiencing it with these cookies with almonds and ginger. They don't have a name, they just have a description. What if that was like us in real life? Like what if I wasn't Aaron but I am a girl who loves fast food and the smell of gasoline. I'd be single forever. Mmm, <laughs> look at them. They're like little stones I used to collect as a child. I used to have a rock collection, but I never knew what they were actually called. You know, there's like tanzanite and all kinds of other things. And I would just be like, here are my rocks. And they'd be like, what is, what kind are they? And I'd be like, the kind that I found outside in the yard. Okay. It reminds you of that tin your grandmother has every Christmas she gets at Walmart full of cookies that you never eat all year long. But they are bomb AF during the Christmas season. These are really good. They're close to being ginger snaps, but Trader Joe's ginger snaps are way better. Sorry, Ikea. But these are good. These are delicious. If you're in the mood for ginger snaps and you're an Ikea and you don't want to go to Trader Joe's, these will do just fine. Yay! Why am I so hyper all of a sudden? I think my coffee finally kicked in 18 hours later. Moving on to the other kefir. It is the oatmeal cookies with cinnamon. They're like little cream colored, mauve colored, beige colored treats. It's, these are oatmeal cookies. I already said that. <laughs> Am I on drugs? Did I take like some sort of weird CBD oil? I don't know. I'm, I'm not on drugs. I've never done drugs. Like illegal ones. Coffee. It absolutely tastes like those tins your grandma gets from Walmart. They have a distinct texture flavor, crunch to them. Should I keep eating? I have a lot more to go, but I am <laughs> hooker. Great for a holiday party or for a Friday night. Watching Lizzie McGuire on Disney Plus. Mm, I'm a little parched. I need something to drink. So I'm a little thirsty, as most creators are on the internet. <laughs> mm. I'm going to try this. Winter Saga. Okay, this is actually not a description of an experience. I think this might actually be what this drink is called. It's the the prequel to the prequel to the Star Wars trilogy. Star Wars Venture Saga. This is a Swedish style festive drink, carbonated, which I love, malt and hops, mm, I think. It looks kind of like a Coca-Cola or like a Dr. Pepper. It smells like when you're a kid and you have faked being sick. I can't go to the school day, I'm so sick, mom. She's like, okay, great. So she comes in with this big cup full of cough syrup and you're just like, I'm gonna have to do this. Okay, it's worth it, I get a full day off of school. Okay, it kind of doesn't really taste like much. It smells stronger than it tastes. It's kind of like a flat Coke and the ice is melted because you left it in the car. You had to run into Target and you come back out to drink your drink like an hour later and that's just kind of the leftover sort of almost soda taste flavor. You know what sounds really good right now? Some jewel scum. Artificially flavored strawberry foam candy. I don't like squishy fruit flavored things. Like those oranges, you know, that old people love to eat. They're like oranges, but they're candy. It's like a strawberry cream smell. If knees and toes had a baby, it would be jewel scum. I'm putting this off. I'm just gonna go for it. No, 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 no. This is the Dumle. If you're Swedish in the comments, let me know how to pronounce these. Actually, that's gonna be really hard because you're just gonna spell it and then I'm still not gonna know how to pronounce it. <laughs> if you're Swedish in the comments, I'm sorry for ruining your beautiful language. This is a soft gingerbread flavored toffee covered with milk chocolate. Hell freaking yes. Give it to me. Guess I have to give it to myself. It's like a Tootsie Roll, but like gingerbread. Ah. That smells like everything that's right in the world. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yes. I feel like this should be waiting in the lobby of every dentist office. You know how after you get your teeth clean, your dentist gives you candy? Was that just me? But it's so good. It's very soft. It's kind of like a Twix bar without the crunchy wafer in the middle. I can't share this with anyone. 
I have to hide these before anyone knows that I have them here. On to another candy. This is a chocolate flavored candy. We were learning a new word, folks. This is the Winter Saga. That's literally the same word that the other one had. Okay, well, we're not learning a new word, so. Ooh, this definitely smells like a Tootsie Roll. Can you see it? It's kind of like a, a chewy ball of chocolate taffy, like chocolate taffy. What does it smell like? It smells like something really familiar. It's a little harder than the other one. I think I'm supposed to suck on this. Stop that. <laughs> It's like if a Hershey's syrup was frozen in the freezer and it came out as an ice cube. Oh, no. It tastes like a brownie. It tastes like a brownie. That's what it is. I can't believe it took me so long to figure that out. I love brownies. This is lovely. Beyond the mastication experience, the flavor is delightful. My jaw, my Team J is like a little flary right now, but it's worth it. Moving on to a cookie with chocolate flavored filling. She's cute. I'm gonna tell you I've dropped her a couple of times. The cookies are a little crumbly, but I will say they look very adorable. It has a little chocolate cream filling on the inside. This is pretty bomb. It's not super rich. Like it's, it's more of a shortbread type of cookie, but with like a hint of chocolate. It's very soft, even though it's crunchy. And it's just so cute. I just like the thoughtfulness of all. There's like just designs on the bottom. It's just so thoughtful of them to put all that effort into such a little tiny cookie that you're gonna poop out later. For that, this might be one of my favorites. This is a milk chocolate with gingerbread crumb bar. This seems like something fancy that you would buy someone for like a stocking stuffer. Very Hershey reminiscent. It kind of looks like every other chocolate bar. It feels like very Willy Wonka. So each square has its own design. Oh, oh. There are little crunchies in it. It's kind of like a crunch bar if you're in the US. My neighbors love to pull up to their house and beep the horn at the person inside. Can't just text someone. I digress. It has little bits of gingerbread crumbled up in there. They don't really have much of a flavor. They're not as crunchy as crunch crunches are. It's okay. I bet you this is really delicious on a s'more, actually. A gingerbread holiday s'more. Oh, more gingerbread. This is a another serene shelter from the winter wild, winter cold. It's a bird-shaped gingerbread cookie. It comes in this little tray. Oh yes, this is gonna hit different. That's what my sister says. I think that's what all the kids are saying. It's like a moderate hit. It's good. It's more gingery than the ginger cookies that I had earlier. It's a little thinner, a little wafier, a little crunchier. There's less like jaw involved in the consumption of this. I just ate the bird's head off. It's okay. I think if I was a little tipsy, it would taste better. It's a very standard gingerbread cookie in the shape of a bird and not a ginger man. Ginger man? So I got these saffron rolls. Ooh, what is with the smells of these food? The taste is very great, but the smells are very off-putting. Look how cute. It's like in the shape of a little S. Is it saffron? I get it. Oh. Oh, it's not bad. They just taste really yeasty. I think these would be better hot like fresh out of the oven. It kind of tastes like a little Debbie kind of food. I'm gonna say no to the saffron roll, but I bet you if it was fresh or like hot out of the oven, it probably would be a lot better. Next up are the gingerbread gift flour rolls. And this gingerbread man looks like he's trying his best to have as good of a time as possible, but deep down he's really struggling with some emotional issues. These little rolls are delicious looking. Oh no, oh no. No, oh, all my cookies fell out. This is a teeny, teeny, teeny cinnamon roll. Wow, wow, that's so good. This is the best thing I've had all day. I don't know if you had Texas Roadhouse growing up, but they're kind of known for their delicious buttery rolls they put on your table. It tastes exactly like one of those, but with cinnamon and ginger bread stuffing on the inside. I heated it up in the microwave for like 15 seconds. Oh my gosh. It actually doesn't taste as sweet as something like a Cinnabon. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Go support this gingerbread man. He really has a great product and he needs our support. Shark Tank, call him, he's ready. I have eaten my way through Ikea's holiday snack collection. I feel like we had some real misses, but a couple of really good hits. I'm loving these gingerbread cinnamon roll thingies. I really love the tins of gingerbread oatmeal cookies. I picked them up right now and show you, but they're spilled all over my floor at this point. Oh, I really love these. Oh, these, these are like, they're just not right. They're so good. Oh, I forgot this. I think this is supposed to be shared 
amongst people, but I'm just gonna drink out of the bottle because it's just me here. Me and the gingerbread man, he won't mind. Ooh, this is a sparkling juice. It's very similar to Martinelli's, like the grape cider that you get when you're underage and you can't actually toast the champagne over the New Year's. I'm still bitter about my childhood. But what I like about this over the Martinelli's is that it's not as sweet. It, it kind of tastes more like a fruit beverage with some, almost like a LaCroix, but with more flavor. I'm into this, it's delicious. Have you tried any of these snacks? Are you Swedish? Are you, did I ruin these foods for you? I'm so sorry if I didn't like your favorite snack. You guys get really passionate when I don't like your favorite foods, but you know, we're all made different for a reason. There's no one like you and there's no one like me. So <laughs> I deserve my own say in this. I'm really, really caffeinated right now. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That would mean the world to me. Hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload new videos. I'll see you back here next time. Subscribe, don't forget, bye.